tell me I'm not the only one obsessed with the Dollar Tree. I was there again last night. And yeah, I don't know what's going on with that little part right there. But it's really irritating the heck out of me. Anyways, let's get on with today's video. Today, I'm going to do another craft for you. In my last video, um, it didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it to. Although, as much as I say that I hate it, I guess I don't really hate it. Hate would be a very strong word. Mm, like would be kind of a strong word, so kind of mm, iffy on it. Um, it just took way too long. Just way too long. And yeah, if you haven't seen it, which I'm pretty sure you haven't, and really I'm okay with that, um, I will link it below. It's kind of a longer video, but I get through it pretty fast. I don't show you all the steps. Most of it's just, um, well, half of it's talking like this. And um, other parts are fast motioned, so yeah, whatever. I mean, if you just want to see what it looks like, go ahead and check out the video. Usually I don't talk bad about my videos, and there's a reason for that. Um, if I didn't put up all my videos that I have, I have like 102, this might be either 102 or 103. Um, if I sat there and thought about everyone, I mean, I could say bad things about every one of my videos, but I can also say good things about them too. And I think I just have to, I, I put it up, I edit it to the best that I can. And I think a lot of it has to do with my insecurities, which is my problem. Not an excuse, but it's just something that I have been dealing with pretty much since I was born. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but I've been through a lot of stuff, um, starting actually from infancy, which I won't get into right now because that's not what this video is about. This video is about my next holiday DIY. This one I haven't done yet and I don't even know how I got inspired. Like I didn't see any videos on it. I was just at the Dollar Tree last night and it just kind of came to me. So I'll show you what I hauled real quick. These sticks. Um, the craft sticks, you get a hundred of them and they have these at Walmart for 88 cents. I'm not sure if you get a hundred of them though or how many you get, I don't remember. And I got these Christmas cards. Look how cute that is. And you get 20 of them and you get 10 different designs and they have like two or three different options of 20 packs of cards and of course you get the envelopes with them too and you get two of each so you get like and the inside may the warmth and joy of the holiday bring you happiness throughout the new year Alrighty. And this is kind of a sneak peek at what I'll be making. Something like that, not quite exactly. I just had to practice just to make sure that it would work. And then I also got these ornaments which is going to be a part of another DIY I have planned, this ribbon. Believe it or not, I only spent $4 last night, well, $4 and tax. And then I went to, actually I went to Walmart before that. Um, it was my birthday yesterday and it was a big one. It was the big 
5.0 and it just did not start out good at all. I stayed in bed until I had to get up and get ready for work. Mind you, I didn't start work last night until 4 o'clock, so I pretty much stayed in bed all day. And um, it just kind of went downhill from there. Got to work, it was super slow, um, didn't make much money at all. And I pretty much cried most of the day. <laughs> I know. I know. Um, I know some of you are going to be like 50. That's not old. And it's not that it's not that I feel like I'm old. It's just the, the night before I ended up with Charlie horses in places that I never thought you could get a Charlie horse. I've never had them in that spot ever in my life. And I used to get a lot of Charlie horses. It's right in the back of the knee, um, in the joint. I guess in both of them and then my feet started to hurt and then I'm talking to my dad and he tells me that oh you're almost the same age as me <laughs> I did get a lot of birthday wishes though on Facebook so if any of you are watching this thank you to whoever said happy birthday to me and um, to the family mem family members that I talked to um, they probably don't watch this except for my sister. Hi. Um, what else? Oh yeah. Anyways, loss of train of thought. So I went to Walmart after work and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to treat myself. And when I say treat myself, I don't mean I just go all out, but I thought this is cute. It was on clearance for a dollar. And it's a strainer, a little sil silicone strainer, and you can make it any size. So what I'm confused about is this handle that has a hole in it, and you can lift it up, but I don't know what you're supposed to put in there, if any. It doesn't say. Um, but, um, it's just a rotating handle, collapsible funnel. Anyways, I got that, and I got a DiGiorno pizza for my birthday, and I was so depressed last night. I wanted to get ice cream, but I'm like, oh, I can't eat all that. So I got, I got pie. I didn't get just one pie. I got two. I didn't eat just one pie. I ate two last night. One was cherry and one was pumpkin pie. And this is the first time I've actually had these, but they're the little ones. And these are only 50 cents a piece. The cherry pie was really good. Um, I would probably get that again. The pumpkin pie was okay. It was a little, it's going to sound kind of gross, but it was a little runny. Um, but still tasty. Anyways, I'm trying to upload as much as I can before Christmas. I'm trying to um, get some of these DIY, DIYs pumped out, and I'm trying not to make them take a week to do. Um, this one that I'm doing today is quick and easy. I just did a little one and that took no time at all. So once you get started, it's like that. Also, I am in the process of um, changing up my background. I'm trying to declutter my room. I just have so much crap in here that I need to clean it out, reorganize, rethink everything, and hopefully that won't take too long. I started on it last week. Of course, I got absolutely nowhere with it, so hopefully 
um, when Thanksgiving comes, I will have quite a few days off, I think. Um, and I'm going to have to talk to my boss and see if I can't get some hours in. But, um, yeah. I don't think I'm going to film it, though. I probably, I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, I am going to jump into today's craft. I hope you enjoy. And I don't know, but I might film it silent so I can just do a talk over. Is probably what I'll do. If not, I will either talk to you over there or I will talk to you in my next video. Bye. Okay, so we're going to start out by cutting the card. Get our sticks all in a row. Just going to cut this down to match. You could always make it bigger too. Use more sticks or a smaller picture. I think I used 14 of them all together on that one. And I just used a little two-sided tape. It just kind of helps stick the, keep the sticks in place. On smaller projects, you really wouldn't need to do that. Put some Mod Podge on it, and I did paint the tops white with some red glitter. So you're going to put Mod Podge over that whole thing, and we're going to put it on the back of the card. Lay the card on top, making sure that it's all flat. And I'm going to go ahead and pour more. Now on this one I used way too much and it ended up drying cloudy. So I ended up actually taking that one off and redoing it. I did put a little bit of glitter on there pink and or red and silver which I didn't like anyways it was too much okay so now this is the newer one I did And this is the second coat of the other one. Putting on a lot thinner helped a lot. You can always add more coats, but you really don't need more than that. The first coat I used the matte, the second coat I used the gloss. That is a hot mess right there. That I put way too much on way way too much and we're just going to let that dry and this is what it looks like after drying for several hours and then you're going to figure out if you want to cut them all individually or how many you want. And 
this one I did four. Just kind of bend it. And I learned that you just want to go from the from the other side. Be a lot faster. And I do know that is not an exacto knife, that is a razor, and that is also from the Dollar Tree. That didn't work either. If I could just tell myself, go from the front. There we go. Voila. So I did four, four, three, two, and one. Just be careful with your fingers. Now I picked this plaque up at Walmart, I think for 99 cents. And I had some of that glitter paper from Dollar Tree from another project I had worked on. Just cut it to size. I made many mistakes in this video, so hopefully you can learn from mine. And one of these days I will learn how to work underneath the camera. Go ahead and put some Mod Podge down. You don't even have to use Mod Podge, whatever glue you want. Just kind of arrange them on there how you want it. Take your clothespins and you can paint those if you want. And you can use glue, but I found that the hot glue, the hot glue gun worked way better, much faster. So you're just gonna glue those onto the clothespins. Making sure that you put them on the right way. Just kind of trimming as you go along. And I put the clamp part down to the farthest end or edge. Once we get this together, we're just going to hot glue the clothespins now to the board. I'm trying to find out the middle. Yeah, make sure you have them in order before gluing them down. And I know that there are a million other ways I could have done this, but I have to do everything the hard way. That is just a pipe cleaner that I had left over.
And then I just kind of glued the edges down. Then just kind of decorate it with whatever you have laying around. You could use pipe cleaners, you could use ribbon, pom poms. As you'll see at the end, I ended up putting pom poms on top of the clothespin part, you'll see. But decided to use silver pipe cleaners for the edge. Kind of stain within the color scheme. If that backpipe cleaner is bugging you, I know, I'm sorry. I do eventually figure it out. And the story of my life, and in short. the center And there we have it. You stick your cards in there. I thought this turned out really cute. I love it. And I can't wait to try it. Get a hold of me on Instagram. Not so glam Pam, one word. Not so glam Pam, one, two, two, three. And show me your pictures. Little pug decorate any way you want anyways thanks for watching please subscribe if you want to see more of what I do or more holiday crafts